Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What do you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. There'll be other victims if we don't stop the killer. You have got to help me, Lauren. You may know something that can aid the investigation. Help you? There's nothing you can do! My son's dead, do you hear me? He's dead! The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? What do you want to know? How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. When did you sound the alarm? About eight o'clock. I began to get worried. I went all around the neighborhood. I went to the wasteland where they like to play. I went to see his friends. I called the cops about 10 o'clock. You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. Did you suspect anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that to my Johnny and all those other kids.
time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. No point in pushing her. She's not going to tell me anymore. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. I gotta get out of here. I didn't learn squat. Well, it's worth a try. That guy just forced his way into Lauren's place. Sounds like the room's getting rearranged, and not in a good way. I gotta go back and help Lauren. That guy might kill her. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! Again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit up. Oh! Asshole. Are you all right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks.
God, my hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. Yes, Jill. A body was found here on this patch of wasteland early this morning. The Reporters? Already? Huh. You seem well informed. Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. The I... zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Norman Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. The body must be under the tarp near the lights. And soaking wet. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. The crime scene is compromised by all these people. I doubt there'll be many clues left. If there were any to start with. Unrelated to the investigation. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. I've got to find Lieutenant Carter Blake. Harry Campbell, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Where did they find the body? Excuse me, but who are you exactly? Norman and Jaden, FBI. If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. I was just looking for him. Do you know where he is? Thanks. Is that a coffee you're drinking there? There's some in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. Pretty chilly, huh? Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. Lieutenant Blake? I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to meet you. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Like, 
Can you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No. No, of course not. That's... that's not what I meant. Listen, you look busy. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Very common. Pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Very common. Traces of blood on the railroad track. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Very common. Traces of blood detected on the fence behind the railroad line. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Very common. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car.
body is still here. Strange character, that Blake. Didn't seem too pleased to see me. Why the hell is there blood here? Harry comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Superficial wound on the right thigh. The blood is identical to that on the fence. Think I've seen all there is to see. I'm heading back to the office. You staying? No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too.